Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create pH scale in PowerPoint. You can see the pH scale down and I have given the numbers from 0 to 14 and 7 being the neutral and towards before 7 till 0 it becomes acidic and from 8 to 14 which goes towards alkaline. So when I click on the acidic text, the level or the scale will come to the acidic side and then when I click on alkaline, the scale will come towards the alkaline side. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert, shapes, select a rectangle, make the height as 2 inches and width as 0.6 inches and make it align center and align middle. I'm going to change the background. So go to the format background and select gradient fill and you can use any color of your choice. Here I have used somewhat a, a light and dark gray combination. And you can change to a radial and give some this effect and go to the format make it a white outline and press ctrl D to duplicate and add seven rectangles on the right side then copy all ctrl D and bring to the left side so we have got the 14 rectangles ready right mouse click go to group and group it and make it again center aligned and middle aligned now you have to color it so you can just download the the colors from the internet and you can use it here for this i'm just going to first ungroup this I have the color bar already so I'm just going to select the first one go to format eyebrows eye picker and then see the eyedropper you can say it and then just select the rectangle and using the eyedropper just fill it so you have to fill the remaining colors so once you fill the remaining colors it looks like this I'm just going to delete the the bar and then first group this select all and group it go to insert text now start giving the numbers which is starting from a 0 to 14 make it a white font and I'm going to use a font called Oswald for this make the size bigger maybe 24 and make it bold and add by pressing ctrl d the numbers to the other rectangles so start pressing ctrl d so and then change the numbers to 0 1 2 till 14 so the numbers has been changed select the numbers move upwards go to insert shapes under rectangles sorry basic shapes select frame cover the bar with the frame and make it no outline and give some gradient fill to this so i'm going to give a, the fill color which looks like something like a silver or a steel look
so I'm using the outside which is the gray and then I'm just using a white inside so it will give you the feel the look of the the silver the silver shining and give some shadow effect and increase the distance now we have to give the the text below which is the neutral acidic and alkaline so the seven in the middle it will, sh will show as a neutral and then on the right it will be alkaline and the left side it will be acidic and align it properly now I'm going to add a arrow select the arrow shape and draw the arrow from neutral towards the acidic the arrow head should be towards acidic make it same blue control D rotate so that the arrow header will towards the alkaline and bring it here now it's time to add the scale go to shapes select a triangle draw the triangle like this and rotate it vertical make it white outline and give the gradient fill or you can use the same gradient fill go to home format painter and paint it on the scale make it no borders and just adjust it adjust the gradient stops to give the 3d feeling and give some light border uh, the shadow effect and place it in the middle which is the number seven and add one more uh, oval shape reduce the size and give some 3d effect select this and color also you can use some light gray and put it top of the triangle and group it press ctrl G to group it now it's time to do some animation before that one I'm just going to change the the text name of this the neutral go to home select selection pane and you can see that one it shows the text number then just I'm just saying to rename it as a text neutral text and for this it will be acidic text this will help us or this will become easy for us when we are doing the animation so for alkaline also i'm just going to say alkaline text close the selection bar close the format background go to animation enable the animation pane select the scale add animation go down and select line motion paths 9 so if you see this scale is going down instead you should move towards the left side towards the acidic and double click the animation you can bounce effect somewhat and go to timings trigger and say start effect on click off then you have to select acidic text and say okay 
now if I play a when I bring the cursor on the acidic you can see that it becomes the icon is changing when I click the scale move towards the acidic the same thing again I'm going to add one more animation select the scale add animation again a line move towards the right side towards the alkaline side and again double click increase the bounce effect and timings go to trigger and start effect on alkaline text say okay now let's see the slideshow when I click alkaline it moves towards alkaline and when I click on acidic it moves towards acidic That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.